Hailed as a revolutionary product, Tesla's first humanoid robot, Optimus, is finally here. All eyes are definitely on Musk as he leaves behind EVs and delves into the field of AI and robots. Will he be able to pull it off? Does the latest version of the robot show enough promise? Will Musk's robots be the ones to bring about the rise of machines? Join us as we answer that and more in today's video. First up, the deets on the Tesla AI Day. Tesla just had its yearly AI day on September 30th. The day aimed to show off just how far the company had come in terms of autonomous robot and vehicle research. And guess what? Tesla did just that as it revealed details about its fully self-driving cars and the all-too-famous AI train dojo in the works, each a commendable show of the company's skills and resources. However, the main attraction was definitely the humanoid robot Optimus. Heads were turned as the robot strolled around the stage, marking the first time Optimus operated without a tether. The robot shares some AI software and sensors with its car's autopilot drive assistance features. First announced back on last year's Tesla AI Day, Musk placed the project on high priority, saying that Optimus was the most important product development that the company had going on at the moment. Of course, one might question him about his previous high-priority developmental projects, and, well, Musk has an answer for it. He thinks that robots like Optimus will take precedence over the vehicle business in the coming years. The robot was expected to headline the Tesla AI Day, as teased by Musk. In fact, he even cited it as the reason for pushing the date of AI Day in the first place. Now, even though the robot wasn't exactly twerking with its creator on stage, audiences were wowed nonetheless. Moving on, a look at last year's AI Day. So what did we see at AI Day? A huge improvement from last year's demonstration, where we were only treated to a person in a bot suit, not to mention that the robot hadn't even been coined Optimus yet. However, this year the robot gave everyone a show as it executed hand gestures and waved at the crowd. Optimus even carried a box to an office desk and picked components at Tesla's Fremont factory in one video. The robot was even seen watering plants. Guess that means you might not have to worry about forgetting about plant duty now. Keep in mind that this isn't the final version of the robot. It's a functional test mule called Bumble C. Someone really loves their transformers at Tesla, huh? Still, Tesla was kind enough to show us the real thing. It was wheeled in by helpers, and all it could manage was a wave. It also kind of stopped functioning when it was placed next to Elon. Even though the robot is in its infancy, it's made great strides from last year's display. Don't you agree? Coming up, a closer look at the robot. Musk claims that Optimus will prove to be a revolutionary product. Is it really, though? Well, from what we saw at AI Day, the robot weighs about 73 kilograms with a height of 5 feet 8 inches and uses third-party actuators to walk around. Now, even though both of the robots unveiled at the event were prototypes, the company did let us in on some tentative specs. First of all, Tesla is using its own battery tech for the robot, because why not? As for the robot's brain, Tesla would be putting its years of chip experience to good use as each robot will feature one Tesla SoC. The AI team will be responsible for feeding the robot all the necessary information for an apt learning experience. Right now, the robot is capable of carrying 150 pounds with its hands and can support a load of 45 pounds while walking. Speaking of walking, the bipedal mechanism features two legs fitted with axle balance control and weight sensors. Now, unlike its transformer half, Optimus will only manage a speed of 5 miles an hour. You'll be able to give out commands and interact with the robot's interface using the large interactive screen on the robot's face. Of course, the specs are impressive and all, but perhaps the coolest thing about the robot is its Twitter page, where it says, Thank you Elon Musk for creating me. We think we have a few guesses on who could be behind that one. Next, when to expect production. Of course, all everyone wants to know is when we'll be getting production Optimus. And, well, sorry to pop your bubble, but that's something way off the table right now. 
the robot is not expected to hit shops next year, even though Musk promised 2023 back in 2021. He seems to have learned the errors of his ways and refrained from giving everyone an ETA on a launch. Did he say anything at all then about the launch? Well, in the Q&A after the main event, Musk said something about three to five years from now. Disappointed, we know. But if you want Tesla to dot all the I's and to dash all the T's, then we'd say let them take their sweet time. The good news is that according to Musk, when the robot does hit the shelves, it's going to cost less than a car, giving us an estimate of about under $20,000. The billionaire CEO expects the robot to service millions of houses as it takes on menial tasks like basic chores instead of keeping the bot restricted to industrial use. It's expected that Optimus will also further Musk's colonization plans as it might just help with important recon on the Red Planet and play a role in laying down the infrastructure. Moving on to production details. We get it. It all seems too good to be true. Just how does Tesla plan to put a robot in everyone's home in that price range? Well, the tech experts at AI Day knew that question would pop up, and so they outlined exactly how the company planned to achieve this. First of all, Tesla wants to design Optimus in such a way that it's fully functional using a 2.3 kilowatt hour Tesla battery pack and a 52 volt subsystem. And so, the robot will be designed to use about 100 watts of energy at rest and then about 500 watts when walking. According to CNET, that makes Optimus's power consumption quiet like a high end gaming PC. Add in the price and weight of the batteries, and you've got yourself an affordable bipedal humanoid robot. Another way that the tech genius plans to keep prices in check is to reduce functionality without a compromise on capability. How does that work? Well, the human body has 200 degrees of freedom, 27 of which are in your hands. Compared to this, Optimus will only be showing off 28 structural actuators with 11 degrees of freedom in its hands. On that note, Tesla plans to cut down on the number of unique actuators. It's going to be using only 6 to pull off the job of all 28. A genius move if you ask us. One that ensures commercial manufacturing. Next up, similarities between a self-driving car and a robot on legs. How does that work? Well, for starters, Optimus is going to be sharing some of its technologies with the Autopilot self-driving car program. As everyone knows, the Autopilot picks up data from its surroundings through various sensors and feeds it to the computer. Good thing Tesla is working on both at the same time. Both of these projects will share the system on chip, the one used in Autopilot and Tesla's vehicles, and the same learning about navigation. However, one difference between the two is the GPS. The tech doesn't work inside, so our robot friend would have to build world models itself. Finally, what does Optimus mean for the future? Musk has high hopes for Optimus, and so does everyone else. The tech genius believes that the robot could very well double economic output and bring about a fundamental transformation of civilization. But is it all sunshine and rainbows? Well, not really. Introducing a humanoid robot commercially could swing both ways. We could head for a utopia, one where everyone gets to live a better life as robots do most of the heavy lifting for us. Or we could head towards a dystopia, where most people are out of a job as robots replace them in the work industry. Elon is all too aware of just how wrong things could go, and so he's assured us that he doesn't want to pave the road to hell with good intentions. That might explain why he's introducing a cat girl version of the robot. No world domination here, folks. Just fun and games. Alright, that's a wrap for this video. Would you ever consider buying Tesla's humanoid robot? Let us know in the comment section below. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe to our channel. Bye now!